Hello Virgo, welcome to your weekly reading for November 14th to the 21st. This is for Virgo Sun and Rising and if you're new to my channel, I do a traditional cultic cross spread. I also use astrology and my guides to bring a lot more clarity to get more specific with your reading. I read I, and I do this because I want you to feel like it's a personal reading rather than a general spread. Now, Virgo, big week, okay? Big week. It's a good week, finally, right? Those eclipses were really intense. So this week, there's a lot of great days. We're moving into Sagittarius season. If you're moving, if you're moving, if you're new to my channel, it'd be great if you like and subscribe and leave comments if these resonate for you. And secondly, I do leave all the... Uh, key astrological dates in my description box a description box if you want to follow along i can't talk today um uh but this week we are starting to move into sagittarius season mercury venus we love this listen that's your fourth house okay virgo you may already be feeling it but there's going to be a lot of attention around your home okay uh when i say home your actual physical home all right maybe renovations maybe you're moving maybe you're moving in with a partner but when i say home that also includes parents right family now now, listen, Jupiter's gone back into Pisces, right? So until the end of the month, instead, that's a little bit more luck in your partnership sector anyway. So that's your seventh house of partnership. So listen, let's go ahead and get started with your reading. See what's going on for you. November 14th to the 21st. Again, this is for Virgo, Sun, and Rising. Now, those eclipses, by the way, were huge. They were... Um, the last one in Taurus, uh, if you saw my November reading, that was uh, in your ninth house, okay? So, um, listen, that is, oof, that actually is a great house. I love the ninth house, okay? So, uh, that's publishing, that's long distance travel, that's uh, spirituality, right? So, y'all could have uh, had some activity in that area, some progress, some, you know, maybe new beginnings starting in that area. Some of y'all could have been uh, planning a long distance trip. Maybe you had to go away somewhere unexpectedly long distance, or you may have decided you wanted to start a blog or write a book, but let's go ahead and see what's going on with you. All right, Virgo, for the energies for this week. Now, um, if you did see my November reading for you, um, I strongly encourage it because Y'all, that was one of the most powerful readings I had done. Y'all had gotten, I'm not even going to get into it. You can read it, but let's go ahead and get started. You did get the Six of Pentacles in your past. I love this energy. I actually, in fact, love your entire spread here. This is beautiful. Now, this really is uh, all about generosity. This is all about gratitude. This is all about sharing the wealth, okay? So you're coming from a place where you have felt that, okay? You've been very grateful for the things in your life. Uh, you know, I always say there's, it's, it, it, there's, when you have that understanding between giving and receiving, that energy flow, oh my goodness, it is the smoothest, just effortless, and it's so beautiful. And it just really, like, everybody's energies go up, right? And so I really love that. Obviously, giving is better than receiving, but at the end of the day, it's all about having that balance, okay? Okay, it brings that balance. You can see the scale in his hand now. Listen, six is a, uh, it, it is uh, all about harmony, and so harmony is balanced. But look what you got in the heart of your spread. You got the three of cups. It has been a long time since I've seen the three of cups in the heart of anyone's spread. This is celebration. This is joy. But at the end of the day, this is also. Um, brotherhood right this is sisterhood this is bonding now we still are in scorpio season okay this week we still are okay now that what does that mean for you uh virgo that is your third house and there does rule siblings okay so you could uh be having some moments with siblings this week okay but you know at the end of the day it really is just friends and you know those that are close to you so i want you to do that i want you to celebrate you will possibly have something to celebrate there definitely is some sort of news going around that's uh something uh whether it's from your side or one of your friends or a brother or a sister some news is going to be spread something big something worth celebrating at the end of the day it really is just me wanting you to bond the card saying 
go out, bond, have those bonding moments this week. Now, you did get the Ten of Pentacles, okay, in your challenge area. So one thing I would really, really like for you to do this week is really be... Um, it, tie up loose ends if there are any okay anything that you feel like um as you move forward after eclipse season we all start this new chapter in some phase in our life right i would love for you to like there may be some loose ends that you're like I really got to take care of this or I really got to take care of that. That's going to bring you a little bit more secure feeling of security and comfort right now. The that's the main message that's coming through some loose ends that you've got to uh, tie up. Secondly, there is going to be some there is some family energy, uh, really strong family energy. In fact, uh, if there's anything that has to do with your family that there's been challenges with, uh, that could be part of the loose ends that you have to tie up. But listen, when I say family, I say that word loosely too, because, you know, we live in this, you know, age where we get to choose our families, right? So if it's not, you know, just who, what you consider your family, okay? Now, you did get the seven of pentacles in your crown. It looks like that um, you've been thinking about all the work that you've been doing. You have been working really hard, Virgo, and it is very clear as day here. It is clear to say that you have been working hard. All right, so I want you to know that um, it's okay to have these moments of, am I in the right position? Is this what I really want to do? Uh, why is this new thing that I want to start not happening? Does this mean that I'm on the right path? There's a lot of energy of like big questions for a lot of y'all Virgos right now. What I want you to know is like, don't take for granted everything that you you have worked really hard and you should appreciate that. And you should be very proud of yourself for getting to the point where you are now, okay? Some of y'all may be at a crossroads, maybe thinking about, is this the right path? that I'm on, all right? And when I say that, that can relate to career, that can relate to family, that can relate to love. This is your reading, Virgo, okay? But in the end, you know, pentacles are money and wealth, so there is a lot of career energy here, but at the same time, it is our tangible realities. It is our, uh, you know, physical realities as well. So with that said, take a moment and just think about it. It looks like you're doing it anyway. Okay. Now I'm not telling you that you're on the wrong path. I'm just telling you to take that moment to, to really let things sink in and then move forward because a lot of y'all are on the right path. Okay. There has just been some moments of, you know, there could have been some delays like September, come on, six planets for retrograde. Mercury was retrograde. October, we had that crazy eclipse in Scorpio that really affected your third house. And, you know, uh, we had that recent eclipse in Taurus. Things have been a little, little, you know, crazy, crazy. So um, this is really good. And the reason why I say uh, most of this is going to be relating to wealth, money, uh, security, uh, especially financial security, is because you did get the King of Pentacles and the root of your spread, okay? And so there is this element of wealth that um, it's almost like that is what's really driving you these days. And when I say wealth, I don't want you to think just money. I want you to think about wealth in all areas of your life, okay? Success, that is kind of like the key uh, uh, word that's message coming through that's what you're looking for okay like the king of pentacles but yes clearly success in the form you know money i i i never trust anyone who says money doesn't bring you happiness i grew up extremely poor i grew up having nothing okay money does bring you happiness money puts food on the table money gets you clothes so listen it's okay to to want money. It's okay to want a lot of money. All right. It's okay to have that as a wish of yours. All right. You see the king here, his hand is on the pentacle. All right. This is him owning his money, owning his wealth. It seems like that is something that is, you know, going to be a priority or it's going to be something that crosses your mind this week. It just being in that place where you don't ever have to worry about your finances, being in that place where you can take care of everyone in your family, right? Taking care of just, again, a lot of family energy here in your reading. So taking care of, you know, those people in your family, you know, uh, you need socks, I got you. You need food, I got you. You need that new PlayStation? Well, think about it. No, I'm joking. I got you. Do you know what I mean? Like you want to be that person. And 
Um, I love the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles, listen, he's, it, it, he has humanity in mind. All, you know, it's it's not just, again, not just about money. It's wealth, wealth in all areas of your life. Now, you did get the Four of Swords, okay? The Four of Swords in your future. So take some time to recover. Take some time to heal. I think there's going to be a moment where, uh, especially with this week, um, just stillness of mind is... Uh, you there may be a point where you know eventually this week you do have this time to just chill out a bit right just you know whether it's meditating whether it's just recovering from something that you could have gone through that wasn't really you know favorable um or you know recovering from something that maybe even a breakup or you know maybe uh, some you know your favorite person at work left or you know there was something but listen it's all just again stillness of mind now um listen uh clarifying that you did get the king of wands okay that's your second king now the king of wands he's so full of life and he's so fun and he's so great at what he does and this is a lot of passion. Wands are our passions, right? There are ideas, there are creativity, but at the end of the day, a lot of work, uh, energy, a lot of career, enterprise, jobs, side hustles, listen, sitting in that throne. I mean, listen, for some uh, so some of y'all, uh, Virgos, that is going to be where you're going to be at, all right? So you um, just keep doing you. That's all I'm saying. You have a wonderful spread. You have a wonderful spread. Just keep doing you okay just keep doing you but you know think about family and think about like tying up any loose ends like i said earlier king of wands uh this is someone who's really powerful like the king of pentacles but in a different way right um first he's just very very and again this is you this is your future just so uh, i like i call him the steve jobs of tarot okay just to make it a little bit more uh, give you an idea of where we're going with this, right? He is like the entrepreneur, okay? He didn't work for anybody else. He worked his butt off to get where he's at, and he worked so hard, and he deserved to sit in that throne. And this is very transformative energy, okay? So you are going through... Um, you need a little bit of time to distill your mind because there's a lot to come, Okay? But tie up those two cents for sure. Now, Virgo, let's get to your staff. Uh, if you like this reading, you know what I'm going to say. You know what I'm, I'm not even going to say it because you know what I'm going to say. Um, and if you're a subscriber, it would be great if you... Um, now, now I'm switching it around. If you're a subscriber, I love you. Thank you so much for being here. You obviously make my day. Um, and I am going to say it. If you are new to my channel, it would be great if you like and subscribe and leave comments if 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 you uh if you're a commenter um listen i really love your reading virgo gosh page of cups okay um some of y'all want this new thing in your life all right and when i say thing it's really just you following your bliss right now what do you want virgo okay relationship boom there you go all right um are you looking for you know opening a new job or finding some new this is all about following your bliss at this point this is very uh like pisces energy right just very imaginative very visionary okay like vision like come on who else talks to a fish sticking its head out of a cup right uh a lot of creative energy around this but really it's just you know cups are our emotions pages are the newbies okay so think about that what's something new coming in to fulfill you emotionally that's something that you're looking for and boom you got the queen of cups all right in your external factors area i call her the mother Teresa, the princess diana of tarot all right this is amazing i love that she's so intuitive so uh so psychic but also she's the queen that leads with her heart not her head she's the one who knows the name of everybody in her empire in her kingdom from you know the emperor to the farmer that's how much love she has 
as, okay? Looks like someone's coming in to really, really help you out and make things, you know, bring you to this emotional fulfillment that you are looking for and just, you know, uh, it's going to be very maternal, right? Someone who's really going to just show you the love, but also almost like guide you a little bit into where you need to go where you're looking to go now you did get the eight of swords okay so there is going to be a moment where you are going to go back in and you're going to just think about things a little bit and you're going to be like all right what's going on and you're going to feel maybe a little uh here's the thing about the the eight of swords is that she does feel like she built a fortress okay where in fact she built a prison okay now but these are the uh swords or the mental suit so prisoner of your thoughts so there may be a point where you just withdraw okay and the reason why is because i feel like there's going to be um a lot of movement and a lot of new things happening all right uh this is why this four of swords is so important just take some time to still your mind a little bit because things are going to move okay things are going to move all right um again uh a lot of family energy but again career energy now you got the wheel of fortune all right so virgo i ugh, come on come on this this came up in your external factors era you have absolutely nothing to worry about okay when you go within i want you to do it trusting yourself being very intuitive instilling the mind i don't want you to do it where you feel cornered okay i want you to explore things all right just explore what these new possibilities are you got the Wheel of Fortune, this is all about divine intervention. This is luck. This is all your karma points being re redeemed. This is literally, I mean, this is basically fate coming in, pushing you back on your path of destiny, okay? Coming in, this is a lot of luck coming in. A whole lot of luck. This card is ruled by Jupiter. Remember what I said earlier, Jupiter dipped back into your seventh house of partnerships? Well, look what you got. You got the two of cups. Um, come on. This is amazing. We call, I mean, just in layman's terms, just to get keywords, put keywords out there. This is soulmate energy. This is twin flame energy. And this is both love and career. What you consider, what the partnerships you're looking for right now. This is two becoming one. This is amazing. This is so amazing. All right. A lot of new love coming in for some of y'all. A lot of new love. Uh, you keep focusing, keep your eyes on the prize. What do you want? Okay. Remember, I said that you've already worked hard to get to this point. Now, universe is going to bring you a lot of luck. All right. You're, I love this for you. Okay. And again, and lastly, you got the Knight of Wands. And your final outcome. This is, listen, this is very fiery. Knights represent fire. Wands represent fire. That's, Come on, that's fire coming out of his helmet, all right? Call the the the, the fire trucks. <laughs> Who I can't believe I said that. I'm so silly. Anyway, um, listen, these knights are all on a mission. They're all very active. They want to get stuff done. They're going for it. They're going for it. And the ones, remember, are passions, okay? What are you passionate about? What do you want right now? What is it you're looking for? But again, this is a lot of... Uh, uh, not only passions, but career, okay? Just really, really, really moving forward. Um, and again, remember, because he is so fiery, and this is just quick, 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 this is your final outcome. Things are going to move really fast. When I say this four swords is really important for you, that stillness of mind, do it now because things are going to move fast for you. All right? Virgo, I love you so much. I love your wit. I, I really, really, really love your reading. This is a very beautiful spread. Okay? This is a very beautiful spread. Um, you're fine. I love you. And Virgo, you're great. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. If you like this reading, it would be great if you like and subscribe. And if you are a subscriber, you know I love you. Thank you so much for being here with me every week. You make my day and you make this so much fun for me. Okay, um, I'll see you next week. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.